Welcome KRB Digital Assets Group. I'm Bitcoin Zay and I'm here to present to you the Qcoin Exchange, a new exchange where you can purchase altcoins and uh, exchange them uh, like you would on any other exchange. Uh, some background information on it to start. Uh, it's been in research, blockchain research since 2013. Uh, the development of Qcoin actually started in May 2017, so still fairly new. Um, we had an angel investment um, in August, which kind of pushed them forward. And currently, uh, they list over 120 plus coins, uh, as well as six different trading pairs, which is one of the best features, I think. Uh, those pairs include Bitcoin, you can trade against Ethereum, NEO, um, Tether. Also, they, uh, you can trade against their native currency, Qcoin uh, shares, as well as Bcash. And a good thing about Qcoin shares is, uh, let's slide back for a second. Good thing about Qcoin shares is that uh, much like Binance, uh, if you saw Binance has their own token, they use it uh, for you to pay fees. So there is an incentive to have Qcoin shares, uh, which can bode well in the future for the coin as a whole. Um, so going forward, uh, we want to look at navigating the trading platform. We'll look at sign up and login, some two-factor authentication. Uh, we'll do a couple of deposits and withdrawals as well as we'll look at uh, how to use the charts to buy and sell. So let's slide on over there. Um, so if you go to qcoin.com, uh, K-U-C-O-I-N.com, uh, you'll see the front page here. They have some of their uh, altcoins listed, uh, as well as some of the different promotions, announcements, things of that nature. So um, as you can see, they have uh, a bunch of different giveaways and things that they present here, much like Binance, as you can see, to try and, and attract users. And uh, so far it's working. So first thing you want to do, of course, is sign up. Uh, what you'll see is the terms of use, which you can read through in your own time. Um, and once you accept those terms, um, you'll move to the sign up area. And in this sign up area is where you'll put an email. I suggest using a different email for each exchange, as well as using a password manager. So you can generate a secure password that you can copy and paste. Uh, generally, the only safe password is one you can't remember, um, so you can just copy and paste it, but if you forget, just forget password. So once you do that, you'll get the email activation, and then you'll be ready to go. So um, go ahead and jump on that, and once you've signed up, you'll move forward uh, to the uh, platform. So once you're all logged in, you got that email uh, confirmation. Um, the first thing we always do uh, whenever we tell someone about using Exchange is two-step authentication. Make sure you either have Google Authenticator um, or one of the other ones like Authy, and you want to make sure you go through these steps in order to set up your two-factor authentication. Um, so first things first, you want to make sure you have Google Authenticator installed. And going forward, um, you want to make sure you write down your secret key as well as uh, save it uh, on a backup hard drive. And then once you have that code, uh, you'll be able to use two-step verification on your uh, account. So once you've logged in, once you have your uh, two-factor authentication set up and you've got that welcome email for confirmation, uh, when you come back to the platform here, uh, let's take a look at how you will navigate uh, to use Qcoin. So as you can see on the front page, most of the new coins that's got listed are right there for you so you can see. Um, as you can see, some of the uh, coins that are listed here uh, show you what they've gained and lost for the day. Um, and let's move forward and look at some uh, of the features they have. For one, if you speak another language, you can change the language here. Uh, also, if you see currency-wise, you can change your currency to uh, Euro, Canadian dollar, whatever you have there. Um, also, they have something for ranking, and what that is is they have competitions for uh, you to use a different cryptocurrency, uh, and the number one trading competition uh, actually wins something. So you can look into that as an easy way to uh, win different cryptocurrencies. As you can see, Kitcoin, uh, Chrono Bank, uh, and as you can see here, when they show the giveaways, they actually show you the statistics, um, the different uh, rankings, and there's a giveaway for that as well. So you can take a look at those if you want to uh, be involved. So um, let's take a look at markets. Uh, if you take a look at the markets, like I stated before, they have six different trading pairs, as you can see here. Bitcoin, Ethereum, NEO, uh, Tether, Qcoin shares. Um, as you can see, they have a few pairings there and good old Bcash. So 
first thing you want to do when you're looking at the uh, the uh, markets is change your settings to what you would like. So one of the things I like to do is if you uh, don't want to have a lot of noise, you can actually put a setting to put uh, any holdings worth less than 0.1 Bitcoin. Um, you want to actually not show it, so you'll hide it. So when you do that, it'll actually uh, only show those that you, you have that amount. Um, also, if you look at the display items, you can change last price, uh, change amount, volume. I would keep uh, all of these around for now so you can actually keep up with the exchange. Um, also, if you look at uh, some of the pairings, you'll notice that they only have a certain amount for certain ones. So for instance, uh, you may be able to trade uh, one against Bitcoin, but you may not be able to trade it against Qcoin shares yet. Uh, that is a feature that they may add later. So uh, still looking for that. And once you uh, look at the different coins that you have, of course, you can search here. Uh, for instance, uh, some of the coins on here that are, you know, diamonds in the rough, like uh, OMG, uh, Walton Chain, um, search them right here quickly. And, you know, you have Ethereum, uh, Ethereum Classic, um, you can search those here as well. So you can do that for a search, but let's take a look uh, at some of the uh, charts. Well, first, let's look and see here. If you want to add a favorite, uh, you simply click that star over here and it'll be added to your favorites right here. So you can get a quick view of the coins you're actually trading and you won't have a lot of noise around that. So um, and here they have the uh, hold for any type of order you have. If it's actually sitting there, it'll show you that as well. So um, let's start with Ethereum. If you want to uh, actually buy it, uh, one of the best features here is that they have an instant buy. Uh, right here, you literally put the price you want to buy at um, and the amount that you want to purchase and put your Google two-step and buy it. Uh, very, very simple. And it's really easy to use here because there are some people who want to just buy and hold. They don't actually want to trade. So just a quick, hey, I have the money, I'll buy it. So that's a good feature there. You can also uh, change uh, to see which percentages are making more, which volume has more, and uh, the higher and lower bid prices for some of these. As you can see, you have some low ones that are you know way less than a penny right here, um, as well as you have some uh, like Bcash that's over a thousand or Ethereum. So um, that's definitely a, a cool feature to have on an exchange where you can buy and sell instantly. Um, and I think that actually puts them ahead because when new people come to exchanges, they don't actually want to look around and try and figure it out. Even though I, I show it through tutorials, a lot of people that instant buy will help them get started pretty quickly. So uh, that's a quick look at markets. And let's take a look uh, at a chart. Um, so if you want to look at the charts for any of the coins, you simply uh, click on uh, that icon there. And here you have their uh, trading platform. Uh, a couple of things here. First things first, this is the newer version. Um, the old version, if you prefer it, you can actually click on it up there and it'll show you the uh, old version of how you can trade um, different coins. However, I will be sticking with this version. It looks a lot cleaner, a lot uh, easier to navigate. So uh, first things first, the chart itself. Um, it, it actually uh, works much like a trading view chart. Um, you can select your layout. You can actually um, do it side by side if you want. Um, you can do one full screen. Uh, you can have multiple charts, which is what I like to have one, two, three. So you can uh, track different charts at the same time. Um, you can link the symbol to each chart so that uh, it actually stays on there when you trade. And much like TradingView, you can add indicators pretty easy. So, for instance, uh, volume. If you wanted a quick volume indicator or a volume oscillator, you can throw those on there. And as you can see, it shows up there. So, um, if you want to change your chart styles to uh, Hank and Ashi, Ashi, uh, you can do that as well. And uh, you know some of the other things as far as comparing symbols, um, also making it full screen so that that's the only thing you can actually see. Uh, that's another feature as well. Now, if you take a look at the order book, uh, one of the things I like to do is reduce some of the noise. You can change the decimal place. I usually keep it at five or six. Uh, it's usually a good indicator of, of where the price is there. Uh, also, you can look at only buys or sales, excuse me, and you can also look at uh, only buys. Um, this actually gives you a good quick look at the order book and seeing some of the, the big buys and sales going on in the market, and you can return it there as well. So um, you can actually move this up and down if you prefer to see the, just if you're looking at buying and you're just like, all right, I just want to see the sale points. 
um, that's possible as well. Uh, over here, you actually have uh, timestamps of different transactions and also a feature here you can't even buy or sell unless you have the two-step verification code which is pretty smart to have people do it twice that does uh kind of affect the way people if somebody does get into your account um with the initial entry uh they'll have to manually type in the two-step verification which kind of takes away the porting that some people do uh into people's laptops so that's a cool feature there also if you want to change the coins you want to look at um you can search them here search the different uh pairings that they have as well and your favorites like you saved before they will show up here so uh, one cool way to look at uh, the different prices so uh, also here you can see the buy and sell orders uh, in this bottom left corner and uh, you can also see trade history and some of the open orders you may have so uh, let's put that two step in there and move forward so we've got that um, two-step verification in there and another good thing it actually does is it you'll see the uh, pop-up when you do it uh, it keeps it open for 120 minutes or two hours um, for security precautions and then you have to enter it again so if you leave your computer sitting there you have to retype that two-factor but uh, here's the basic uh, buy and sell um, platform right here so uh, put in a little bit of Bitcoin to show for this demo um, so that you can see exactly what we're saying so let's see if you wanted to buy, they actually have a best price button to help you out, uh, or you can type it in manually. Um, you can type it in 0.062. Um, let's say you look at the price now and you think, hmm, it may go a little bit lower uh, because I did some TA, and you know, in my my opinion, it'll actually um, it'll actually drop down to the level of the last resistance, which is around here, um, which is a pretty good buy point. So. You would set that price there and also what amount you want to purchase so if you let's say put the best price here and you say you want to buy uh, 0.1 ethereum uh, they'll show uh, the ratio the fee uh, and also uh, how much you can buy so let's buy 0.1 ethereum at this price and the buy order has been placed and once you set that buy order you can actually look at the trade history and it'll show you uh, the buy that you have also how much ethereum you own now because of the buy so as you can see uh, you have a small amount of ethereum in there now for the buy and also you have uh, the opportunity to sell so if you wanted to sell uh, you can use the best price to sell and you can also get the max amount or you can type it in yourself so uh, ratio wise you can do half uh, you know you can do you know 75 percent uh, that way you can uh, sell pretty easily and it shows you the fee as you do it. So a uh, quick way to uh, actually buy and sell on here. And you can do this with any coin. And like I said, place the sell order and that sell order is there. No open orders because it went through and it'll show you your available balance afterwards. So uh, that is a quick rundown of how to use the charts. Uh, like I said, we'll, we'll have different um, uh, tutorials for the actual trading view. And how to use it however once you learn it you can use it on this uh, platform uh, just like you would on any other one and let's move forward to uh, assets so and here we have assets so uh, as you can see the small amount of Bitcoin in there to start it actually shows you how many are or order orders um, also some of the news for the day EOS mainnet swap uh, swap some of the other ones, Electronium withdrawals enabled some quick ones there. Give you an overview of the coins that you own. Like I said, we just did that buy in Ethereum and also the Bitcoin we still hold. Um, and you have the option to deposit. Uh, make sure when you are depositing, uh, one of the best things they do is you choose the coin you want to deposit and then they make you confirm because there are people who are sending Bitcoin to Bcash um, accounts, vice versa. There are some people who uh, they don't realize you need to send a certain um, cryptocurrency to that same wallet they think they can just send it to Bitcoin wallet so confirm that and then once you confirm it they'll give you uh, your public address that you can use so a few tips down here they make sure you know don't deposit other assets which I like so um, one of the things we can jump to here is a uh, referral bonus um, once you refer someone uh, to this platform which will put that referral um, at the bottom of this you can actually have people sign up which will reduce fees 
uh, because their actual setup, uh, as you can see on Steam, it, um, somebody posted that, uh, Infidel 1258, uh, you get 20% of the fees for directly invited and indirectly invited users, you get a percentage uh, off of that as well. So uh, the fees basically can, you know, help you uh, or hurt you depending on how you use it. But Qcoin will share 90% of the trading fees with our users. So the more people use it and the more that you use it personally, you can actually gain Qcoin. Um, they only keep 10% of the trading service fee. Um, so it's actually one of those things where they're not looking for a money grab. They're actually helping you and actually trying to get people to the, uh, the platform. So uh, good use there. And uh, as far as the open orders, like we stated before, we didn't have any because uh, we actually closed them with those buys and sales and uh, withdrawal the same thing you will put your address uh, the amount and the uh, two-step verification code for it as well as they'll attach the fee that is uh, that is attached to it as well so that is assets um, and let's move forward to using your account so if you navigate to your account, uh, one of the first things you'll see is KYC authentication. Uh, not necessary. Uh, I personally don't do uh, any KYC if I don't have to in order to withdraw, but that is available for you if you want to put your information to allow uh, larger amounts of withdrawals. Uh, also, your two-step verification, API keys are there, and also their terms of use. Uh, if you want to read through there, uh, oftentimes exchanges change those terms of, uh, of use. So whenever you see a change or update, um, you can actually come here to see that ch that change or update on the uh, exchange. So that is uh, the accounts portion of it and discover, which is an interesting feature they have. Um, you have a Qcoin bonus. So usually uh, if you're holding Qcoin, uh, you actually can receive that uh, based on their uh, bonus that they give by the division of trading fees. Like we stated before, if you use their uh, their platform, you get paid in their platform uh, amount. And one thing I want to take a look at too is uh, Qcoin shares. Um, if you look at where the price is now, we're at a good buy zone. This is sort of where it took off um, uh, in December, uh, as you can see here, and you can see that price point as well. And by comparison, uh, exchanges that use their own coin, uh, if you look at Binance, uh, Binance was a coin uh, that came out that you can use to pay fees on the uh, Binance um, exchange. And if you look at how their growth uh, over time, they've had some time uh, as well to grow and they're up to about almost $10 per coin. So that would be a 300% investment or 300% gain on an investment in Qcoin shares, which if you use that platform, I would suggest getting some uh, Qcoin shares in order to pay the fees as well as maybe buying something to hold as well because it's a uh, pretty low supply under 100,000. Uh, about half of the supply is circulating. Um, so you do want to look out for that. However, with these uh, exchanges, that is another way to make money. It's basically just use their coin um, uh, to to to, uh, to hold as well as to uh, pay for fees. So uh, good thing there. And with news, uh, they usually uh, send you to their site where they have official announcements for different coins that come uh, and if you have been in the space for a while usually good news about a coin being added actually increases the, the value of, of your holding so um, you can look through that from a news standpoint so um, get out of that uh, and also if you need help um, I haven't had an issue so far uh, however I have heard good things for their online support and with new exchanges you do have to be sort of patient however if they want to stay around a while, they will definitely have good uh, customer service and get back to you quick. So uh, that is the basic uh, features of this platform. The best way to learn, I've always said, is to use it um, and to actually get your hands dirty and see how things uh, work on here. However, this is a good primer to get you started. So uh, moving back um, to our uh, PowerPoint here, uh, thank you for watching uh, this uh, Qcoin exchange tutorial. Uh, feel free to submit questions through the members portal or to our uh, dedicated email krbe at krbecrypto.com. Thanks for watching.